Hello, you're very welcome to this English vocabulary lesson on wellness. Wellness is all about living a great lifestyle and the concept of wellness is almost an industry in itself. Let's take a look at our lesson plan for this video. And as usual, you'll be learning lots of key vocabulary in lots of interesting context. And as a subject, wellness, you will learn lots of useful information. And as usual, you'll be getting lots of example sentences so you can use your new English vocabulary straight away. I don't know about you, but I'm really looking forward to learning all about wellness. So if you're ready, sit back, relax, and let's learn some English together. So let's start at the beginning with this word wellness. What does it mean? It is a noun and it means the state of being in good health, especially as an actively pursued goal. The concept of wellness has developed so much that we could call it a lifestyle or a practice. We could say wellness is the act of practicing healthy habits to attain better health. Let's take a look at the different areas in life that wellness can be used in. It can be used to help our social and spiritual lives, along with our emotional and environmental well-being. And it can be applied to physical and mental health. So let's take a look at the first category, social wellness, and how wellness can be applied in this area of our lives. So first up, let's have a look at this word social. This noun means anything relating to society or its organizations, and it means your relationships with other people like your friends. And social wellness is all about nurturing ourselves, others, and our relationships. Let's take a closer look at this word nurturing. And nurturing comes from the verb nurture. And this means to care for and protect someone or something while they are growing. A sentence example would be, I nurture the friendships that are important to me. Why is social wellness important to us? People who have healthy relationships and friendships live longer and deal better with stress. It is important to share your experiences and learn about the lives of other people and balance time with others with time by yourself. Our next area of wellness is spiritual wellness. This provides us with systems of beliefs, values, ethics, principles, and morals. Religion can be an important part of spiritual well-being, but for some people, it is not essential. What can we do to improve our spiritual well-being? To volunteer is a great idea. This verb means to freely offer to do something for a charity or an organization in a role which helps people or a cause. An example sentence is, I volunteer with a local charity twice a week. And for emotional well-being, it's important to have compassion. This now means a sympathetic pity and concern for the sufferings or misfortunes of others. I have a lot of compassion for people who are suffering. Something else which is important to have is optimism. This noun means hopefulness and confidence about the future or the success of something. Let's take a look at our example sentence. There is a lot of optimism for the future. The next area of wellness is emotional wellness, and this inspires self-care, relaxation, stress reduction, and the development of inner strength. It is important to be attentive to both positive and negative feelings and be able to understand how to handle these emotions. A word which is great for our emotional well-being is positivity. This noun describes the state or character of seeing or looking for the good in people and situations. My new team in work is full of positivity. As human beings, we are capable of a full range of lots of different emotions. It is important to keep a balance between these emotions. This noun means a situation in which different elements are equal or in correct proportions. An activity which is great for our emotional and spiritual wellness is meditation. This noun means the act of focusing one's mind for a period of time in silence or with the aid of chanting 
for religious or spiritual purposes or as a method of relaxation. For our example sentence, we could say, I find meditation helps me find a balance in my life. The fourth area of wellness we will look at is environmental wellness. This relates to making the places we spend our time comfortable and safe. It also involves learning about and contributing to the health of the planet. And we can bring wellness into the workplace. An example sentence is, environmental wellness is a popular practice in the modern workplace. Wellness can also be used in the home and it can even be used in schools. Creating a safe space for students is essential for environmental wellness in our school. It's quite easy to have a great environment. We can create wellness in these places by always being respectful, inclusive, kind and supportive to others. I think kindness is the most important element to this. Environmental wellness also relates to creating a safe place for people who use an environment. Our example sentence is, having a safe place to work really helps with the staff's wellness and morale. And of course, we can't forget the planet. The health of the planet is essential for everyone's well-being. In an environmental sense, we can contribute to helping the planet by reducing, reusing and recycling. Let's move on to the next area of wellness, which is physical wellness. And physical wellness is listening to and taking care of your body for optimal health and functioning. And this all comes down to getting active by engaging with exercise. There are lots and lots of different types of sport, so there's really no excuse to get out there and get active and look after your physical wellness. An activity which gives us great exercise is yoga. This form of exercise comes from ancient India and is great for physical, mental and emotional wellness. And it is really important to eat healthy food. Eating lots of fruit and vegetables and having a balanced diet is the key to having a healthy body. Let's take a look at our example sentence. Eating healthy food and exercising three times a week makes me feel really great. And the last area of wellness is mental wellness. And mental wellness is where we bring all the different aspects and areas of wellness into one area to help our mental health. Being mentally well means that your mind is in order and functioning in your best interest. And you are able to think, feel and act in ways that create a positive impact on your physical and social well-being. And it's really important to remember it's okay to feel sad. Negative emotions are part of everyone's life. They are normal and healthy. It is important to understand how to deal with these feelings. A great way to help your mental wellness is therapy. Talking to a licensed and qualified professional can really help to understand your own mental well-being. Okay, how about one more example sentence? I find therapy really useful to help with my mental health and wellness. And that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you like this lesson, you'll really love my English vocabulary lesson on hobbies and crafts. The link for this video is on screen right now. And coming up on screen are even more video suggestions. And while you're still here, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? Links for my social media are in the description below. That leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day and remember, keep learning English like a pro.